and uh, founder of GTF. Her name is uh, Elizabeth uh, Filippouli, uh, an international journalist turned social entrepreneur. With Global Thinkers Forum, she united a common mission, a prestigious international network of thought leaders coming from diverse countries and backgrounds. GTF, I should stress, is a wholly independent, non-political, non-partisan organization with direct reach to different audiences and establishes presence, established presence in the US, EU, Arab world and Africa. So, Elizabeth, without further ado, come on the platform to give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and tell us more. Good evening, everyone, and how wonderful to see you all. As we just heard, it is all about the people, right? And actually, the young people. This year is our fifth birthday. Global Fingers Forum born, kicking, and screaming in 2012. And what an honor to celebrate in this very venue, to celebrate our birthday in this venue, a symbol of intellect knowledge and wisdom. Jorge Luis Borges had said, I have always imagined that paradise will be a kind of library. Alas, our world is anything but a paradise. Global Thinkers Forum is five years old. We are growing fast. We are engaging people of positive, of positive influence, people we can trust engaging them in ongoing conversations for nurturing a culture of accountability in our world. We are passing the word and we're changing mindsets. One person at a time. One person at a time. Transforming lives. This is good enough because we are many and it will be more of us. It will be more of us. So let's watch a brief video describing our five-year-old story. This is our story, the story of Global Thinkers Forum. We are a worldwide community of change makers who act towards the same vision, to create a better world. For us, a better world is a more ethical, inclusive and peaceful one, one that focuses on the future and sustainable solutions. We believe that our societies need more competent leaders. They need inspiration, understanding, and the desire to make positive change happen. There are opportunities out there. There are great successes and solutions. They are just waiting to be discovered. Global Thinkers Forum is an ecosystem for fearless, visionary individuals who do not hope for a better world. They create it. We were incubated in the University of Oxford and launched our mission in 2012 in Jordan with Queen Rania Al Abdullah as our founding patron. Global Thinkers Forum is a women-led platform and an independent, organically grown global community of decision makers. Our initiatives also support young people and women from all over the world in their professional and personal development. We have taken our mission and mentoring programs to more than 20 countries and four continents. We have partnered with some of the world's top institutions and we are being endorsed by thought leaders from academia, business, government, diplomacy, civil society and the media. We exist because you created us. Global Thinkers Forum is expanding its presence globally. Let's create excellence together. Be part of Global Thinkers Forum. Five years into our making, we have many things to be proud of. And first of all, your presence here. And you are here probably because we see the same needs to cultivate the idea of global thinking and accountability, especially among young people. We are proud of our organic growth, our financial and editorial independence, 
We are proud of our mentoring programs. Within two years, they have reached more than 25 countries. We are proud because over the last three weeks, applications for the new mentoring cycle are over 400. 400 applications from all over the world within three weeks. And so we need you, we need you more than ever, because we rely on you to be able to keep delivering to young people as they are expecting from us. But it should not be my words, really. It should be the words of the young individuals who are looking for guidance, inspiration, trust from us, from you. So let me read a few lines from the cover letter that a young student from Kazakhstan sent last week. I'm a junior student studying a double major in business administration and in political science and international relations in Istanbul University. I'm from a big family. I have four younger siblings. My parents are still happily married together. That's quite an achievement on its own these days. <laughs> Even though they have two jobs each. I'm financially independent from them thanks to scholarship opportunities. I define myself as a world citizen because I do love studying and also traveling to different countries, exploring their cultures and learning new languages. Traveling helps people think in more rational ways by avoiding prejudice and stereotyping. My biggest success is the four languages that I speak, Kazakh, Russian, English, Turkish, and two programming languages which I learned myself online. My passion is learning as much as possible to be able to build my future as a successful woman in Kazakhstan, which is a developing country with the economy totally dependent on oil. I need a mentor to help make some of the most important decisions in my life. Thank you for your attention, Mariette. So tonight, as we are honoring individuals who are redefining trust, let's consider that all of us share this duty to prove to younger people that there is hope, there are opportunities, there are individuals out there who they can trust, they can rely on. I come from a journalistic background. Journalism is in my DNA. And as my parents taught me, as my mentors taught me, integrity must be our number one value in life. Thank you very much to the British Library and to Patrick Fleming and to his team for your trust, for your friendship, and this wonderful collaboration. It's never, ever easy to put such events together, but we made it. So when we meet again in 2022, 300 weeks from now, looking back to this lovely evening, are we going to look at each other and say to each other that we have made a difference for this world, for young people. I think so. I know so.